Now we will discuss about the resonance column or resonance tube apparatus. What is resonance? We know about free vibration, forced vibration and resonance. Free vibration means any body capable of vibrating on its own vibrates with a natural frequency. So, free vibration means any body capable of vibration if it is set into vibration will vibrate with a natural frequency which depends on mass and inertia of the body. So, every body vibrating body has a natural frequency. Now, we can make another body vibrate by making a already vibrating body. For example, you can have a tuning fork A already vibrating. If you bring it near a tuning fork B, B will start vibrating now. We are not directly making B vibrate. We are making A vibrate that is we excite the tuning fork A and bring it near B or we excite the tuning fork A and bring it near a stretched wire like a sonometer. Then B vibrates under the influence of A, then B is said to undergo forced vibration. So, B is made to vibrate by means of vibration of A, then B undergoes forced vibration. Then the frequency of vibration of B will be, frequency of B will be the frequency of A irrespective of its own natural frequency. So, this is forced vibration. Resonance is a special case of forced vibration where if the frequency of B happens to be frequency of A. So, under forced vibration, the body undergoing forced vibration will vibrate only with the force of the vibrate frequency of the forcing agency. Suppose the vibrating body has the natural frequency of the forcing agency then they are said to be in resonance. In resonance maximum energy transfer will take place and the amplitude of vibration will be maximum. That principle is now going to be used in the resonance column apparatus. This is used for determining velocity of sound in air. It is an experimental procedure which is used for determining velocity of sound in air, determining velocity of sound in air. In this we have a very long tube about 1 meter long, then in this end it is connected to a rubber tube with a pinch clock. Then it is filled with water, water is slowly drained. Here you keep a vibrating tuning fork. So, this is the forcing agency and air column here undergoes force vibration under the influence of the vibrating tuning fork. And when we have a point called resonance, we have resonance. What is this? It is like a closed tube with a node at this point, anti node standing waves are produced inside. Okay. We measure this length as L1 and L1 is equal to lambda by 4 distance between anti node and node plus E. E is the end correction where E is called the end correction because the anti node is not formed exactly near the mouth of the tube. The antinode is not formed exactly near the mouth of the tube, it is formed little above the mouth of the tube and this distance is called as E n correction. Now, you go on draining, do this 2 or 3 times to get uh, the average value of L1, then drain some more water, approximately 3 times L1 again resonance will be heard. That means, now we are having one and a half loop, there is a node here. So, now this distance is measured as L2, L2 equal to 3 lambda by 4 plus E. So, this is how the experiment is done, 
there is a very long tube of order of 1 meter long filled with water. A vibrating tuning fork is placed near the mouth of the tube. Water is slowly drained till we hear a booming noise. That means the air column has the same frequency as the tuning fork or we say air column is in resonance. At this point measure the distance of this water level from the top and mark it as L1, L1 equal to lambda by 4 plus E. Do this 2, 3 times to get the average then do second time removing some more water and you will get the second resonating length. Okay. Now, you do 2 minus 1 equation 2 minus equation 1 gives you L2 minus L1 equal to lambda by 2. So, lambda equal to 2 times L2 minus L1 and V equal to N lambda. Frequency of vibration is same as that of the frequency of the tuning fork. Therefore, we are substituting N resonance. So, 2 n L 2 minus L 1. This gives the velocity of air at room temperature and then we can also determine the n correction. From equation 1 and 2 we can determine the n correction as E equal to L 2 minus 3 L 1 by 2. So, we can determine the n correction. The n correction is related to the diameter of the tube as 0 0.3 d where d is the diameter of the tube. So, this is the experimental determination of velocity of sound using resonance column.